Okay, so the first thing I'm going to try is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser for all skin types. This is what the little package looks like. Pretty cute. So, yeah, um, the instructions say it's an extra gentle gel cleanser that instantly whisks away everyday impurities and makeup, wet the skin, massage over face and eyes, and then rinse. So, pretty basic. I'm gonna go put this on my face real quick. So my face is damp. I'm gonna rub it in. It smells kind of cucumbery. So like very light cucumber and then you can smell the soy. It doesn't foam up, it just kind of gets creamy, which is nice. So I'm gonna rinse it off. Okay, so it was really nice. Um, very cleansing, didn't leave me with that dry, stiff feeling like my skin feels soft and good. Um, I really like that one. The scent wasn't terrible, it wasn't great, but, um, you know, I can live with that. So, um, I would give this a 4 out of 5 stars. I could definitely see myself repurchasing it. Um, I just don't know that, like... It's just not a, something that I instantly became obsessed with and needed to buy immediately, but it's really cool. I'm glad that I tried it, and I really like it. So, four out of five stars. I've done the other parts of my skincare routine, and the next product I'm going to use is the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. So, um, the directions for this say, apply evenly to face and neck. That's it. Um, it doesn't smell like much. I'm just going to put some on my face. I like their packaging. It just looks really cool. And this is, I believe, a Korean brand. So that's really cool. And I know Korean skincare is like hardcore. Okay. So now it smells a little, a little like something, but I can't put my finger on it. But it feels really moisturizing. And like cooling, but like not that weird, weird cooling where you're like, ooh, my face is going to die. Ooh, I like this. I really like this. It may like have something to do with the packaging, but this just feels amazing. Wow. I really like this. This is a cool product. Um, I'm really stoked to use up the rest of this. Maybe buy something from this brand. I was looking on their website the other day and like it's just so cool. So um I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. I can't give it a five out of five just because it's like I feel like I'm a little biased because I just looked at their website and was like so in love with everything. Um but yeah, four and a half out of five. Cause it's pretty dang good. Like it's really awesome. My skin just feels so happy right now. And it's like the dead of winter. So that's nice for your skin to feel happy and moisturized in the dead of winter. All right, guys, I am back again to try another product. It is the Herborean Korean Skin Therapy Pate A Ginseng Black Concentrated Mask. Looks like that. I have heard a lot about their BB cream. Um, so I'm kind of really intrigued to try this. It says, as if plumped, the skin looks visibly smoother, more luminous, and younger. Use twice a week, apply small amount to the face, massage onto the skin, leave for 10 minutes, and then rinse with lukewarm water. So we're going to try that right now. I'm going to put my little headband on, and we'll get started. If you guys can see, I have a breakout here and a breakout right in the middle of my lip. So there's that. All right, so let's get some out. Ooh, it's like amber colored. I was not expecting that. Can you see that? Do you see? That's interesting. I was not expecting that. Okay, so we're gonna put it all over our face. Ooh, it's very sticky. But like in a good way, feels good. Uh -huh. I don't know how thick they want you to put it on. They didn't really tell you. Mmm, it smells amazing. It's not 
you guys know I am not one for strong scents. Let me zoom in a little bit. Zoom me in a little bit. I am not one for strong scents. If it has a strong scent, most likely I won't like it. But this is just subtle enough that it's like you could tell there's a scent, but you're not like, holy cow, there's a scent. You know what I'm saying? But it smells like classy. Like a classy perfume, I feel like. Okay. So, it is all over my face. Makes me look dirty. It kind of, the look of it, um, the color reminds me of the Peter Tom Thomas Roth pumpkin enzyme, enzyme mask. So, this is what we look like. I'll be back in 10 minutes to rinse it off and tell you what I think. But my first impressions are, it's really good and I'm really stoked on this mask. Okay, I am back after 10 minutes. It still looks pretty much the same as it did. I think it's, sh it's not showing up the same, like, darkness on camera I mean you can kind of see but yeah it's like very orange dark ambery orange um this is like a really great feeling mask like this would be one where you're just like wanting to chill and just like feel pampered and luxurious like this is a really great one so I'm gonna rinse it off real quick okay so as I was saying my skin is really soft I would recommend that you use a little bit less than you think you need because when you start to rinse it off it gets very like jelly and then it I feel like I put too much on so it took a long time to get it off but um yeah I like that one I think it's very good and with the fact that you use less than you think you use um you could totally like you totally could get your money's worth with this I really like it I'm gonna give it a four out of five because it was great um so yeah there's that. So the next thing I'm going to try is the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. It's intense hydration for dry parched skin. Even though I don't have like crazy dry skin, um, in the winter my skin definitely does get pretty dry. So I'm gonna open this. What does it say? Oh, heh. <laughs> Probably should have said that, thought that before. It says apply as needed from head to toe throughout the day. That's all it says. So you could use this everywhere. Um, my hands are super dry, so maybe I'll use it on there too. But I'm gonna use it on my face too. That's kind of a lot. We'll see how it works. Okay, it smells kind of medical. You know, like, kind of like, I don't know. What's one that CeraVe or Cetaphil, you know, just, they're just kind of like, they don't care about their scent, so they're just like, yeah, it's super great, but it doesn't smell great. Oh, yeah, that's how this is. Okay, it's very, it sets nicely, kind of makes this like tacky, tacky feeling on your skin. I'm going to put it on my hands right now because I'm dry. When you work at Starbucks and you wash your hands all the time, in the winter in Oregon, your hands get grossly dry. But um, as far as it goes, I think it's pretty nice. Um, it definitely feels, for me, like I would only use it in the winter because it seems kind of heavy duty. But, um, you know, it's pretty good, pretty good. Uh, the scent is not great, which um, I have other moisturizers that I like better that have better scents and feel like as moisturizing. So I'm gonna give this a three because it's just kind of like middle of the line for me. I probably will not repurchase this. So, you know, there's that. Three stars for First Aid Beauty, the first product I've tried, tried from First Aid Beauty, but I have heard that they have some really amazing ones, so. I'll try other things, I just, the Ultra Repair Cream is just meh for me. The last product I'm going to try in this 5-in-1 review video is the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Deep Puff. Um, it's just this cute... This cute little tube. 
I've heard a lot of awesome things about Origins. Um, I don't think I've tried any of their products before. But um, yeah, it's a refreshing eye cream to brighten a deep puff. 86% saw a brighter appearance instantly. It reduces dark circles, wakes up, and refreshes tired eyes. Like a shot of espresso for tired eyes. Can you see that? This little card that it came attached to. Now, I have had issues with eye creams in the past. They'll start off great and then they kind of like, my eyes are like, bro, what are you doing? I don't like this. And then they get dry really bad. Ooh, it's very like pow smelling. And it's this kind of pinky orange color. Ooh, that's a really close to my eyeball. <laughs> I'm just gonna pat it on. I feel very moisturized right now. So, I don't, it like sunk in very fast, which is nice because I don't like ones that like feel slick and you're just like, Ugh. so I feel like this one could be good to like do in the morning too. Um, cause then you could just like wait a few minutes and then it's perfect to put your makeup on or you could do it instantly after. I don't think it would be a problem. Uh, I like it. I'm going to keep trying this. Um, but my overall first impression is it shows promise. Um, I don't currently have an eye cream because right now none of the ones I own are working for me. So there's that. I'm going to try it out. But I would give this, for promise, I would give it a four star. Like, because it sunk in really nicely. It feels good. Like, I can't even, like, it just, my skin just went, like, hi, I need you. Um, so yeah, I would give it a four star. It's pretty great. I like it. I'm interested to keep trying it and see how it works. But yeah, so those were my mini five-in-one reviews of different products that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And give me a thumbs up if you thought it was a cool video. And subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!